We have made it to the first international break of the EFL Championship season 23-24 and I thought it'd be a fun video idea to have a look at my pre-season predictions and see how much I would change them. Yes, as I said in yesterday's Premier League video, this isn't me completely changing my predictions and I'm going to look back at them from here at the end of the season. I'm still going to go back to those original ones at the end of the season, but this video idea is just a bit of fun to kill time during the international break and to discuss each team in my opinion so far and how right or wrong I think my predictions are going to be. Before we get into the video, do make sure to show some support. We'll go for 500 likes on this video. It is free to drop a like, so please do show some support. Do make sure to comment your predictions down below, what your original predictions were, if you did make some, and see how much you've changed your mind. As I said, there's no disgrace in saying if you got something wrong. I know I've got a few wrong so far this season, and I know there's some that just definitely won't come true, but we will see. Do feel free to show some support and hit that subscribe button as well. It's free to do, and we'll start marching towards 38,000 subscribers. Let's get into today's video. So then the premise of this video is very similar to yesterday's Premier League video. If you haven't already checked that one out, do make sure to do that as well. There is a tier list here. It's very simple. Higher, hold or lower. I've got all the championship teams across here. And as you can see with my 1 to 24 prediction, I'm going to see how much I would change my mind based on what we've seen so far. Let's go in no particular order and start with the Lions, Millwall. Now, I think it was last season as well as this season that Millwall were my dark horse to complete that top six. When I made my predictions, I felt pretty confident with my top five. That might come back to bite me on the bum. It was sixth place that I was unsure with. And Millwall have been knocking on the door for some time time and I do feel like eventually they will get in there. It does seem as if this club do things right, their business is sensible, they've got a manager that's been there for a long time, he understands that club, he understands this division. Do I think they're going to do it based on what I've seen so far? Well, I wouldn't totally change my mind. They're currently in 12th place and they've had some decent results, two wins, two defeats and one draw. They're very much down the middle and it's very possible things could get better for Millwall. I think one thing that's tempting me to just put Millwall in lower is the fact that there's a lot of good teams this season by what we've seen so far and I think the playoff race is going to be very, very competitive. Only good teams will get in. I think Millwall are a good team. I wouldn't be surprised though if we see them finish in 8th for like the 10th season running. So I'm just going to narrowly nudge them in lower. Millwall fans, it's not me saying I completely think you're not going to make the playoffs. It's just if I'm forced to, I might just put them lower. If not, it's a hold. Hull City up next. Now Hull City I put in 16th place. I was a little bit unsure. I do think they are a club going in the right direction. It's just the competitive nature of the division I put it down to, putting them in 16th place. But so far they are sick. They are showing that despite it being competitive, they very much want to be in that shout for the playoffs. And I am completely confident on saying higher. I can't see them finishing lower than 16th and I really actually can't see them finishing 16th based on what we're seeing so far. I'm very intrigued to see how Hull City get on when they play Coventry in the first game after the international break. I'm going to say Hull City higher. I genuinely think what we've seen so far, even though it's a short amount of games, we could see a top half finish here for Hull City. Delap's a good player, Brazini's a good manager, the fans are buying into it. Higher for me. Blackburn Rovers, and I'm going to put one in each category for my first three because I'm going to put Blackburn Rovers to hold in my prediction. They were predicted to finish 13th by myself, and they currently sit in 13th. Now, I know there's a long way to go and things will fluctuate a bit. They're not going to stay 13th for the whole season, but I could see them doing a bit of this and a bit of that and levelling out in the middle. They've shown some really good signs so far this season, but... The one word I'm looking for is consistency, and we're not quite getting that just yet. Maybe when more games are played out, we might see a bit more of that. But based on what we're seeing so far, I think maybe my mid-table prediction could come true. Sheffield Wednesday up next. Now, despite all the chaos in the summer, I did think Sheffield Wednesday would just get over the line. Now, I still think that's possible. They did get off the mark with their first point against Leeds United after a very frustrating first four games. It has now lifted Sheffield Wednesday off the bottom of the division and up to 23rd. Although, how much you want to look into the championship table at this point is up to you. My prediction of 20th might seem a little bit high at the moment, but ultimately I haven't put them that high at the table, so I'm tempted to say hold, but I will just go lower. I could maybe see 21st and them still staying up, but I'm just going to go lower if we're basing it on what we're seeing so far. 
Swansea City up next. Now, out of everyone's predictions that I saw on YouTube, I feel like maybe I was the most harsh on Swansea City. And when the season started, I was thinking, oh, I could really live to regret this one. I still could. But based on what we've seen so far, I think what I went for could actually come true here. Swansea City currently sit in 22nd place. Now, do I think they'll go down? No, I said that in the previous video. I think even if they have a really stinking season, there's enough there to get them over the line. But an 18th place finish doesn't sound a terrible shout at the moment. So I'm going to go for a hold. And every time we do this, I have to say the Swansea badge is black and there's a black background. It's there. Sorry, you can't really see it properly, but it is there. Middlesbrough next. Where am I going to put them? I feel like my hand has been forced. I cannot go for higher and I really can't go for hold on what we've seen so far. A fourth place finish and they're currently 24th. Now, if we're being genuinely honest here, did anyone say Middlesbrough would be bottom at this point of the season? Yes, as I say, it's true for anyone to be anywhere in the table after this short amount of games. Coventry were bottom last season after five games and they still made the playoffs. It is going to be a tall order for Middlesbrough to make the playoffs, but we've only played a tiny fraction of the season so far. But there's a lot of work to do. They've lost a lot of key players. Is Michael Carrick the answer? Well, we'll find out in time, but I've got to go for lower. They're 20 places below my original prediction. You have forced my hand there, Middlesbrough. Lower. Coventry City up next, another team that were in the playoffs last season. Another team that's not had a perfect start yet but not on the level of Middlesbrough. We're only just in the bottom half in 14th place, but it's very early doors and we've only lost one game and that was against Leicester City who were tipped to win the league. I think what we've seen so far is encouraging for Coventry. It feels a little bit reminiscent of last season where I think we will gel as the season goes on, but there were so many big changes this summer that it doesn't entirely surprise me. We haven't had a perfect start yet. My prediction of third was maybe a little bit ambitious, but I still, even at this point, think Coventry have a very good chance of making the playoffs. I think finishing third is a tall order. I don't want to completely say it's out of the realms of possibility, but what we're seeing so far makes me think maybe a little bit below that. I'm still going to stand by Coventry being in the playoffs. I'd maybe change it to fourth, fifth or sixth maybe more fifth or sixth at the moment. But if we're basing it on what we've seen so far, you've obviously got to take the results into account as much as performance. And I just have to say lower, but I did go a bit ambitious there with Coventry. We'll see. They could still finish third. Coventry fans, do share your thoughts down below. Was I being biased or could there be something behind my prediction of third? I'm just going to say lower at the moment. Ipswich Town up next. Now, I did go for Ipswich Town to finish in 11th place. I'm on board with this Ipswich Town thing that Ipswich are going to have a good first season in the Championship. But even so, 11th place seems a little bit cautious or maybe harsh on what we've seen so far. They're currently second. Do I think they'll finish second? Not really. I do think there's a good chance of them being in the playoffs, but second might be a little bit of a stretch over a 46-game season. Whichever way I look at it here, though, I've got to say above 11th place seems very, very likely for me. Ipswich Town, I'm on board with what you're doing. There's goal scorers, there's a good manager, there's togetherness, there's good continuity. This club's really going in the right direction over a long time now. As I've said before, this form has carried on from the end of League One. Higher for Ipswich. Another team that came up, Plymouth Argyle next. And my prediction of 21st at the time I thought was, was all right. I think Plymouth have enough to stay up, but there could be a battle on. What we're seeing so far is that they look like they really could stay up comfortably if they were to continue playing and grinding out the results that they've done so far. They currently sit in 10th place. So I feel like because... Preston, Ipswich and Birmingham are all in the playoffs. Plymouth are maybe not being spoken about as much as maybe they should be. I've got to go higher here for Plymouth. They're 11 places above my original prediction. I always thought they would stay up, but it looks like they could finish a lot higher than 21st. Birmingham City up next. Now, once again, another team with a bit of hype before the start of the season. A lot of people buying into Birmingham City being a lot better this time around as opposed to previous seasons. And I was on board with it at the start of the season. I bumped them up to 14th. I thought... I'll get them up the table. I don't want to overshoot it, but I'll say 14th. Based on what we're seeing so far, I think a top half finish is very, very, very possible. I know it's early and, you know, Birmingham have had seasons before where they've been right up there after five games and fallen away. It just looks like it could be a lot more sustainable this season. The transfer business was fantastic. Lots of positivity behind the scenes. So even though I thought 14th was, you know, bumping them up a bit, 
I'm going to bump them up even more. I will add in some caution and say I'm not going to say Birmingham City are definitely making the playoffs or something, but I think there's a good chance they finish above 14th right now. On to the Robins next, Bristol City. I had them in 12th place at the start of the season. I did see something there which made me think there's going to be another little improvement. They're currently in 8th place, so they've had a good start. For this one, I think I'm going to hold. I do think it'll be a top half finish for Bristol City. Yes, once again, I could get maybe a little bit carried away with the fact that they're above my original prediction, but there's lots of teams that are lower down that I think will climb, and there's some teams that are going to fall back into place, and lots can change through the season. I think 12th would be a good season for Bristol City. If I, if I had to change, I would go higher but I'm going to stick them in hole. Leeds United up next. Leeds United were my champions. I predicted them to win the league. Now, they've not had a perfect start to the season. There's lots of draws in there. Kind of similar to Coventry, a team that I expected to do really well, and I still think will. One win, three draws, one defeat. They've just got a lot of quality going forwards, and I think they just need to settle. I think it's been a bit of a chaotic start to the season with goals going in in every direction. But if you just pinpoint some performances and some goals they've scored, you think, hang on, if this team gets it right, they could genuinely win eight games in a row and go up about nine, ten places in that time. I still think Leeds United have a very good chance of going up. I'm maybe just going to say lower at the moment. I did think after five games they'd at least be in the top 10 or top six, but they're in 15th. Yes, it's early and, you know, they could still win the league or still come second. I'll, I'll stick with them still getting automatics then. I'll say they could maybe get second place or maybe still first I'm going to go with lower I think if you work it out here I've got the choice of going hold and saying they finish first or saying lower and they could finish anywhere else in the league and if you look at the options there I think it's a better option to go for Leeds lower there I think they will be up there Leeds United fans obviously share your thoughts down below there's a lot to be excited about at Leeds United it just hasn't clicked yet in my opinion Leicester City up next. Now, most people, the bookmakers, Sophie, everyone, seem to predict Leicester City to win the league. They currently sit third. They were top after four games. They'd won four in a row. They did have that defeat to Hull City. But as we say, it's the championship. It's not going to be plain sailing. There will be points dropped every now and then. I think, I think holding wouldn't be a bad shout. I think Leicester could finish second. But if I've moved Leeds down, I think I then have to move someone into that first place. So, although there's not a lot of room to wriggle with here, I'm going to go for Leicester City to win the league now. I think what I'll say is Leicester first, Leeds second. I know there's other teams that we could come on to that could be in that conversation, but that's what I'll go for. I still feel confident it'll be those two. Leicester have had a good start in terms of scoring points and they've got a lot of quality there. Cardiff City up next. Cardiff are predicted to finish 22nd. They currently sit in 19th. What I said was, I think this is going to be very close. Whether they stay up or go down, I think they're going to be in the mix. I think they're in that box of clubs. There was a transfer embargo, but it does feel like there's a bit more positivity than you thought there would be. The, the business was quite good, actually, for a transfer embargo. And their start to the season's been all right. They've picked up some points here and there, and they've challenged some of the top teams. I'm tempted to say higher or hold. Um, if I say higher, I mean it. It'd be like by one or two places. So, do you know what? I'm, I'm just going to hold with Cardiff for now. I'm not saying I think Cardiff are defo going down. I really want to stick with that or something. I just think there's not a lot of room to wriggle with here. I'm just going to put Cardiff City still in 22nd place. I think they could stay up. What we've seen so far is all right. It's going to get competitive down there soon. I think Huddersfield Town, Sheffield Wednesday, Rotherham, all of those sides are very much in the conversation as well. I think we'll get a much clearer picture when we get to the next international break. It is difficult to analyse the bottom end of the table at this point because, you know, you could get anyone down there at this stage. I'm going to say Cardiff hold for now. Sunderland up next. Now, Sunderland, I predict to finish in 8th place. They currently sit in ninth place. I genuinely do think 8th place was a decent prediction based on what we've seen so far. I think Sunderland have shown their inconsistency, but maybe they've just shown that they can click before that international break. The result against Southampton surprised everyone. Um, not to say that I don't think Sunderland are a good team. They are, but that was incredible. Some good players there, still some good players to return, and a good experienced manager. I'm going to just edge Sunderland higher than 8th, so I'm going to say we're looking at maybe 7th or 6th. I think Sunderland could be in there. Like I say, if they don't make the playoffs this season, I think they're going to be very close to it either way. So let's say higher than 8th for Sunderland. Norwich City up next. 
Now, I did go for Norwich to improve on last season. I put them up to seventh place this season. They currently sit in fifth, so, you know, what we've seen so far, I'm not a million miles off. Just like with Sunderland, I think they could just get in there. Based on the fact that most people thought Middlesbrough would get in there, I had Millwall to get in there as well. So far, Norwich and Sunderland may be looking a little bit better than those teams so far. Obviously, Norwich City have got some good players. Sargent is going to be a big miss, but they've got a good manager in Wagner. And, uh, you know, a real passionate fan base behind them. I think Harrow Road's always a difficult place to go. Let's just put Norwich higher. I'm going to slightly change my mind and say playoffs for them. What we've seen so far is they can score goals, and that'll take you a long way in the championship. Queen's Park Rangers next. 23rd place was my prediction. They currently sit 17th. I'm going to say higher. There's not a lot of room to wriggle with because I put them quite so far down. So if I put them lower, it means I'm saying they're finishing bottom. If I put them to hold, then, you know, they're finishing 23rd. If I put them higher, then they could be 22nd and anywhere above that. So I think my original prediction has forced my hand here. QPR have had a much better start to the season than I thought they would. Yes, there's times where defensively they don't look great, but since the Watford game, they've been in, they've been in every game and they've played some top teams. So QPR... I hope you stay up. I didn't put you down there originally because I don't want you to stay up. I, I, I like QPR. It's one of my favourite away days and I do actually quite like Gareth Ainsworth. Let's say higher for Queen's Park Rangers. Rotherham United up next. Rotherham I did put bottom. Not a lot of room to wriggle with here. I can't say lower than that. I could say hold. I think they could genuinely still go down. But what we've seen so far is a team that actually don't look like the worst team in the league. So although they could still finish bottom... My hand, once again, is forced here. Rotherham United, you know, that performance against Norwich, it was reminiscent to how Rotherham played last season, picking up points in games where you were like, oh, how have they done that? I didn't fancy them to win that one. So, Rotherham United might surprise people again. I'm going to say higher than bottom. I know that might sound like a little bit of a backhanded compliment, uh, but I don't think they're going to be the bottom team. Stoke City up next. Stoke City I originally had in 17th place. It did seem quite harsh at the time when everyone was getting quite excited with their transfer business. Five games in and they're 16th. They've shown some good signs. At home they've been alright, although they did lose a home game against Preston North End. On the road, not particularly convincing. I think what we might get from Stoke is a bit of yo-yoing this season. So let's go with Stoke City to hold in 17th place. I think the Potters are just struggling for consistency so far. We'll see if they get things clicking after the international break. Watford up next. I did have Watford in 10th place and I think I still feel relatively confident with that. But their start to the season has been very much below everyone's expectations. They're 18th. Now, they did show very good signs in their most recent game against Coventry and will count themselves unlucky not to win that, having taken the lead three times. Having said that, defensively, not particularly convinced. And they went three games in a row without scoring. It does feel like there could be a bit of chaos at Watford this season if they have a, a bad run of games, a slow start continues. Would the manager go? What happens then? There's certainly quality there, but... There's teams that look more likely to make the top 10 so far. So Watford, I'm going to go with lower as well. West Bromwich Albion next. I did predict them to finish ninth. I was a bit unsure because they were probably the team with the least transfer business before the season started. If you look at their results so far, they kind of look like the results of a mid-table team. The Huddersfield result most recently is obviously a cause for concern for the West Brom fans. Hmm, they sit in 11th at the moment. Let's go for a hold here for West Brom. I could maybe go lower, I could go higher. Let's go in the middle. They're not a million miles off where I predicted them so far. I think they could be in a playoff discussion, but I don't think they're going to make the playoffs for me, just on what we're seeing so far. I know the bookies have got them 7th. I'm going to hold with 9th at the moment. Huddersfield Town up next. Now, at the start of the season, I predicted them 19th, and I thought, is that harsh based on, you know, the form towards the end of last season? They finished 18th, and if their form would have continued from the end of last season, they'd have kept moving up the table. They were doing really well. But the start of this season's not been great. Having said that, that win against West Brom is massive, but we'll have to wait and see until after the international break whether it is a kickstart for them or whether it's a bit of a false result and Huddersfield continue to struggle. I'm going to just say lower based on what we've seen so far. I did predict Huddersfield to be sixth bottom and there's teams in that bottom five from my prediction that I think will be higher. So I'm going to drop Huddersfield in to that bottom five. Not necessarily saying bottom three, 
But I'm going to go bottom five now for Huddersfield. On to the final two teams. And we've now got Preston North End who are top of the championship unbelievably. I predicted them to finish 15th before the season started. Now, that looks a million miles off right now. But if you go back and look at the bookies odds and lots of different fans who support different teams' predictions to Preston, they were actually lower than 15th. Some people saying 17th, 18th, 19th. Now, I would have thought that out of all the people predicting, the most optimistic probably would have been Preston North End fans. And fair play to any of you if you did predict Preston to go off to a good start this season. I've got to say, I didn't see it coming. They're a solid enough championship team for me and they've got a decent manager in Ryan Lowe. But this is taking everyone by surprise. Yes, it's early days, so let's see where they are when we get to the next international break. But come on, I predicted them 50. They're top. This is so obvious. Higher for Preston North End. I think they could be a really good season ahead for Preston North End. Let's see how they get on after the international break. But so far, very, very, very so good. The final team we're going to talk about are Southampton. Now, Southampton are predicted to finish in fifth place. They currently sit in seventh place. The result against Sunderland really did suck them down. So... It depends how much you want to look into the table at this stage because one result can literally change everything. When we get to the end of the season after 46 games, I still think Southampton will be in that top six. Do I think they'll be higher than fifth? Yes, I do. There's teams I've predicted to be in that top four that so far, at least, are not showing standards above Southampton. So, despite a very bad result against Sunderland last time out, I think fifth place... It could be higher than that for Southampton. I genuinely, I'm quite happy with a fifth place prediction here for Southampton. But if I'm going to choose here, I'm going to just say higher. Like I say, good football with Russell Martin. Good players. I know there's been a few big players going out the door. But they're a parachute payment club. They always seem to do quite well over a 46 game stretch. So let's go for Southampton to be in higher. So then that wraps up today's video. Do make sure to share your championship predictions down below. Let me know if you've changed your mind on some of those. Like I say, just be honest, put your hands up. It's, it's fine to say you're wrong. Do let me know how your predictions are going from the start of the season though. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.